really hate to see this. It breaks your heart. The Palm Springs Animal Shelter says more people are having to give up their pets due to changes in housing along with the pandemic. News Channel 3's Madison Mile has more on how the community can help. Over the past week or two, we've seen a big uptick in uh, owner surrenders. An increased number of families forced to give up their pets. The shelter says this is because people are losing their housing situations, some moving in with family members. Unfortunately, people are having to surrender animals that they've adopted from us prior um, because they're moving back in with family and there's just not space in the house. Dogs that were once puppies adopted from the shelter now returned years later. It's incredibly traumatic. The dog doesn't really know uh, what to do, doesn't know wh who, who to trust. Dogs like Pepper. Pepper is three years old. She's a black lab mix. And her sister Shasta. If someone wants to adopt them together, they can. We know they get along well. They're both really sweet, so we're happy to have them, and we can't wait to see what homes they get into. And Bonnie returned eight years after being adopted. When she came in, she was completely terrified, shut down, um, but she's come a long way. All three already trained and in need of a new home. If you're considering bringing a new pet into your home, whether it be cats or dogs, please consider adopting first. There are so many amazing animals who have spent their whole lives in homes. They're potty trained. They know the rules. The shelter says if people are struggling to care for their pets, they can always bring them here. But they also offer resources to help people keep their pets during tough times. If they need food, we can help with that. We can help with spay neuter surgeries. We can help with vaccinations. In Palm Springs, Madison Weil, News Channel 3. And with the increase in animals, the shelter is seeing, on top of recent budget cuts, that it's in need of the community's help. For more info on how to donate or get involved, head to our website, kesq.com.